Good morning and welcome to A-Level Results Day. It's lovely to see your faces and I can't imagine how you were feeling last night and into this morning, but tell me, um, how did you get your results? Rebecca, tell me. Um, well, I was sat there this morning just staring at my phone for about half an hour before 8.30 um, and then it came through on my email and I was just like, mom, guys, my email. <laughs> Um, opened it up and got my results and yeah I'm so happy yeah really really excited <laughs> so staring at your phone that means you got your results by email this morning does it yeah yeah by email it was it was strange Um, obviously you know in years past people have got it um, in a letter but it was just as exciting you know at the end of the day you're still getting the same results but yeah I just had to wait for the wi-fi to load <laughs> oh my goodness and were there any um traumas with home wi-fi get in the way at all Anna how did everything work at your house um it worked pretty well I think I quite enjoyed opening them from home because I was with my cats and my family and you know if things didn't go well which they went well but if things didn't then you know I'm surrounded by people that I love and stuff so it was it was nice but it there's a bit of a delay with you Cass no okay you no know, we've tried right I'll ask you a little bit about that in a minute but I want to I want to imagine that moment Anna <laughs> when you opened that email and you're surrounded by the people as you say that you loved was it a quiet moment or was it <laughs> oh fantastic <laughs> yeah there was a lot of screaming from everyone's parts um <laughs> yeah it was quite it was quite loud um <laughs> I think my cats were pretty shocked. They didn't really understand what was going on, but you know, <laughs> it was a really just happy moment. Oh, well, I hope you haven't traumatized the cat. <laughs> what about you, Megan? What was it like in your house? Um, I mean, it was just me and my mum. We were just sat on my bed and then the email just came through and we opened it. It was like quite chill. It was Not quite chill. Screaming. <laughs> were you nervous, Megan? Yeah, I was quite nervous actually. Did your mum cry? Yeah, <laughs> she always cries. <laughs> Every mum cries, I think. Oh, that's lovely. And what about you, Bayan? What was it like in your house? Um, so when we first got the email, um, I couldn't believe it, to be honest. So we opened it. There were definitely a few tears involved. Um, and yeah, so we were just all celebrating. And who were you with? It was me, my mum, my brother, my dad. Oh, my goodness. A real family affair. They must be proud of you. Yeah. yeah very proud. So how did you do? Are you going to tell us how you did? Um, so I got three A stars in maths, French and Spanish and an A in politics. Wow, how fantastic and how very, very well deserved. And what about everybody else? Are you going to share what you got? Who will I start with? Rebecca. Um, yeah, I got three A stars in English, politics and geography. So really, really, really proud of myself. And also well done, Vianne. That's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Well done to you too. <laughs> and Anna? Um, I got two A stars in music and English and then an A in Spanish. Fantastic. And Megan? Um, I got A stars in maths and further maths than two A's in music and physics. Oh, it's my feet <laughs> getting bigger and baby <laughs> moving. You know, I don't know how your families are feeling, but I could not be prouder of you. You are a tremendous bunch and you work really hard for those grades. And it's been a pretty tough time, hasn't it? You know, this pandemic on the 20th of March, 2020, school closed, didn't it? Wickham High School closed along with every school nationally. And we moved to virtual learning. And that was the start of many lockdowns, many restrictions, the cancellation of examinations for the second year. And you, you had so many challenges to face. So how did that make you feel? Vianne? Um. To be honest, in the first lockdown, it was obviously it was quite a big change, so it's a little bit difficult to adjust. Um, but I feel like with the second lockdown, when we started to get into year 13, it definitely felt like there wasn't much of a difference between online and in person because they were like all the lessons were delivered live. So I think between the first and second lockdown, there was definitely a massive improvement in lessons online. Yeah, we all upskilled tremendously, didn't we? And the difference, um, you, you learned how to study differently we learned how to teach differently and um and actually I, I don't know how you feel but there were many ups to it as well as downsides to it um in terms of independent learning and research etc how did you find it Anna um it was quite tricky at that first to adjust but you know we did about a year's worth of content from home in the end so it 
it wasn't that bad in the second lockdown, as Vian was saying, and the lessons definitely improved and I felt more confident in the second lockdown. Um, but it was just a matter of time, you know, it, just learning the content in at home is, isn't, isn't easy. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely a struggle. Yeah, you don't have each other to talk to. Mm. You don't have, you can't bounce ideas around a classroom. You don't have as easy access to a teacher. Um, you really have to dig deep, don't you? And become very resourceful and independent as a learner yourself. Yeah. What about you, Rebecca? How have you found it? Um, I think, as the others were saying, it has been tricky. It's been a very different way of trying to do your A-levels. You know, it's nothing that other students have had to deal with before. So um, I think I'm, well, I am very proud of all of us for managing and doing as well as we have. Um, but I definitely think that with the grades that we've got, that we should be, you know, I have seen some conversations about the ideas of grade inflation and those type of things, which does sort of annoy me because I think, you know, we've all worked really, really hard to get the grades that we have. And it's not like they've been plucked out of thin air. These grades have come from evidence that we've provided as students, you know, so yeah. I think that we should be really proud of ourselves and, and also a great thanks to the teachers as well for, you know, adjusting to a whole new way of teaching and, you know, supporting us the way they have. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And Megan, what about you? How have you found it? Um, I found it really hard, but also I kind of think I found what I found hard was like adjusting between the two because we were constantly learning at home and then learning at school and then learning at home. And like once I did one thing for a bit, I'd get used to it, but then it would change again and then I had to like readapt to the situation. Yeah. Yeah, it was really tough, but yeah, I'm just glad we've all got through it now. Yeah, you worked your way through really with determination, with grit, and we couldn't be prouder of you all as a year group because traditional examinations, yes, you build up to it, and yes, you're under pressure and stress for what, six, eight weeks demonstrating what you can do. You have relentlessly been under that pressure with constant change for 17, 18 months. So I think you are a generation who shine like a beacon. Not only have you got this great academic success, but you have demonstrated personal qualities like no other year group. So you can stand very, very tall and very proud. And any university or employer is going to be very, very lucky to have you. So on that note, what are your plans? Where are you off to? Megan, where are you going? Um, Warwick to do maths. Fantastic. Anna? Um, Birmingham to do music. Rebecca? Uh, Exeter to do a BA in Geography. And Vianne? Um, Oxford to do law with Spanish law. My goodness, what diversity in subjects and your futures it really is. I cannot wait to see where you go over the next three, four years and where your life journey takes you to. So big day for celebration. I honestly feel like I need to be going out with you and celebrating <laughs> with you. I don't know that that would be terribly cool having me in tow, but what are you doing? What are your plans for celebration, Rebecca? I I don't know, to be honest with you. I think my mum's probably got a glass of Prosecco on the side for me when I finish the interview. But, um... I'm on my way round. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Fantastic, we'll enjoy that. And Anna? Um... I'm going for brunch in a bit with some of our friends. Megan's coming along. Um, and then later on, I'm either going out for dinner or going to a party. Either way, not sure yet, but I'm yet to make that decision. Well, I think you could manage to do all of that, Anna. I think you could be able to do it all. <laughs> Megan, what about you? We know you're going out soon for yeah, brunch. <laughs> brunch. And then I think I'm going out tonight with all my friends and we're just going for a bit of a party. So it should be really fun. Right, to enjoy it. Good. And Bian, what about you? Um, I'm also meeting up with some friends for lunch and then hopefully we're going to get some takeout as well to celebrate with the family. Lovely. So you're all going to have a very, very well-deserved celebration and it is a celebration like no other and I can't say that enough. I think you should be extraordinarily proud. You are, I'm full of admiration for you. Your success is to be celebrated. Never let anyone diminish that and don't give in to it because your hard work at Wickham High School, you've had two years of continual assessment. You've completed the entire course. You've been examined on the entire course. You will not only survive at university, you are going to thrive and lead the way. You're absolutely brilliant. And I feel really emotional and really, really proud of you. Anything else you'd like to say? Um, 
Oh, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I wanted to say a massive thank you to all my subject teachers for, you know, supporting me the whole way through. I think I would have been so, so much harder and probably wouldn't have happened if it weren't for them and for all their work they put in. Thank you, they'll love to hear that because I can tell you the staff that are in school today are just so delighted not only for you guys but for the entire year group your entire cohort you you're a tremendous bunch of people and we could not be prouder so go and celebrate it's fantastic news for you and just chuffed to bits well thank done you. indeed thank you <laughs> thank you